Another Alu Power replacement. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You know, it's actually pretty crazy that we're in 2023 and there's still strings coming out left, right, and center trying to mimic the feel of one that came out in 1994. I mean, just imagine, that'd be like if players were still using frames from the 90s. Oh, what are you doing there? Oh, you go away. Awkward. When I first heard the name Hawk Power, I actually thought it was gonna be one of those new era polys that's got the comfort of a Syngut with some of the playability characteristics of a poly, but I'd forgotten about the good old Alu Power and it actually turns out that head are going for that crown. Here's what you gotta know when you come for Alu. It's great in all metrics, spin, power control, but where it really shines is that it's got this intangible magical feel where when you make proper contact, the ball just kind of pops off and gives you really good feedback, which can quickly become addictive, and it's why so many good players love the string. No spoilers, but Head has definitely done its homework with Hawk Power. It comes in this gorgeous, although not very well-named, Petrol Blue, and I strung it up at 53 pounds in an Extreme Tour and my very own Gravity Tour. Now, to address the elephant in the room, Hawk Power does not feel like Alu, but... It has a similarly addictive sensation and it's a very unique feel. I'm not gonna say it has the same feel as Alu, but there's definitely something about that crispness that isn't common. Kinda get that extra ball pocketing feel, but it still shoots out, very nice. It's almost like a violin. When you make proper contact, you get this beautiful response, but when you make contact outside the sweet spot, it almost feels metallic. It sounds a bit weird, basically telling you you did something wrong. Feedback, both positive and negative, is part of what makes a great string, and Hawk Power definitely has that. Very spin friendly. Let me snap back. Hawk Power is a poly, so it was always going to be spin friendly. That said, it's not one of those sharp polys that just has a ton of bite on the ball, and it's also not one of those super stiff, super rough polys that has a ton of snapback. That being said, it did have more spin than I was initially expecting. Stringing up, it was really soft, really malleable, which is kind of like Alu Power. I mean, it's definitely a crisp string. <sighs> Usually when a poly is soft, it digs into itself just a little too much to produce elite levels of snapback and kind of suffers in the spin department. That definitely wasn't the case here. There's plenty of snapback and it's actually when you get these strings to start moving on each other that you get that really addictive zing feel. I actually found it felt maybe a little bit dead and a little muted on flat shots and slower paced touch shots. So it really comes into its own when you start spinning the ball. Comfort wise, I never had any issues, but it's definitely stiffer than your new era polys like RPM Soft or Alu Vibe, and obviously stiffer than your multi-filament sin guts and natural guts. So if you have had any issues with discomfort in the past using polyesters, this one is probably one to avoid. It's stiff too, but it's a little softer. That being said, because there's so much snapback here, you never really get that feeling of the string reaching a harsh endpoint during contact that some stiffer polys can have. Obviously, polyesters were designed for control, but not all are created equal. I'm not a big fan of shape strings. When I was playing with Lynx Tour, I just find it a little inconsistent. No problems here with that. Shape strings and soft polyesters in particular dig into each other so much that they can sometimes feel a little bit sticky and unpredictable on launch. Hawk Power doesn't suffer from that same lack of consistency because it's round and has great snapback. Also, that pop and feel that I mentioned earlier provides such good feedback that it's really easy to get into a zone where you know exactly where to hit the ball in the string bed for a good shot. Again, kind of like with Alu Power. It's called Hawk Power, so it had better be powerful. Ironic though, because it is a poly and they're not really known for their power. That being said, this one is a little softer than your average polyester and softness in the string game usually translates to more power. Definitely softer than Lynx Tour. It is a poly. It's a proper poly. I mean, it's definitely got pop to it, but it's not that like super soft string pop. What really makes it excel here, that extra zing you get on contact does seem to just propel the ball with a bit more oomph. Again, kind of like with Alu Power, I hate going back to that string every time, but it is a direct competitor, so might as well. Do I think Hawk Power has killed Alu Power? No. The two strings do provide a similarly unique sensation, but they feel different in the way they do that. I can't say one is technically better than the other, although I would still probably go to Alu Power because I'm so used to that gorgeous sensation it provides. Still, Hawk Power has great power, spin, control, and comfort, and it does have that feel X factor that other supposed Alu replacements just don't really have. I also found it to be a little bit more durable than Alu Power. Maybe not in terms of how quickly it's going to break, but Alu does just seem to fall off a 
a cliff in terms of playability after only a few hours, and that didn't really happen here. I think it's going to be a super popular polyester string amongst pretty much any level of player that should be using polys. Now, it's still in its secret, not so secret development phase, but it will be available very soon for stringing in store or for purchase at rackets and runners.ca.